Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're playing some uh, telekinetics, Sage, um, running elemental convection with the single target chain lightning. Well, this is not really a troll build. It is definitely not a uh, more so recommended one. Um, the whole idea here is just to try to hit pretty hard. Uh, sometimes in games where it's single target and you don't want to run Stormwatch, uh, this can be a pretty nice like option like if you're not interested in swapping your tactical and your talents. Um, obviously outside just this one. It also goes through Mercenary Reflect and we're against a... If you're made on the enemy team, thankfully we have healers, otherwise this would be really painful for me. For whatever reason, these... Uh, these Arsenal mercenaries really want to just kill specifically for me for quite a while. Uh, you'll see that throughout the entire match. I don't really care too much. Uh, there was points where um, I died to the pilot, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, but getting into kind of like how this would play is that you pretty much play it the same way you would kind of play Stormwatch, except for you have a reset for your Chain Lightning. And then also when you're going for big hits, the modifier for the chain lightning or power of the force in this case um, is a lot higher than thundering blast slash uh, was it turbulence wave uh, by a considerable margin too. It's not like um, it's bad to empower your your thundering blast. Um, it definitely is good. It's just that the other one will potentially hit harder. And it's really just uh, depending on the target type, uh, which one you should probably empower with uh, force speed. Now, uh, I tried this a long time ago, back when 328 was the highest gear before it actually ever even got nerfed. Um, I was able to hit 150,000, 115, excuse me, let me make that clear, not 150, uh, on somebody. And that was pretty deadly. Now, um, I think I'd probably still hit that number maybe once, but it's a lot harder to do than what it like previously was. It's been nerfed and then they rebuffed it, but in overall, even with higher in gear, you're still not necessarily hitting that very often, if at all. It's more like a red buff kind of thing. Uh, it was definitely really overpowered before. Now it's still like pretty strong. I kind of want to live here, but at this point, I realize that this pre is just going to Make sure that they CC me to kill me because they can't kill me the traditional way by doing damage. So I kind of like just completely give up on that situation, take the reset, and get in a better position to fight back. And for the most part, um, when it comes to like doing damage, especially when they have multiple healers too, uh, it's not always great, especially if you're a ranged DPS and you don't have like high kill potential or high burst. You want to pressure the things that are hitting you and your teammates to make it easier for them to play because chances of you actually killing the healer is not very high unless you also have damage on your team, which we didn't really have much damage at all on our team. There's quite a bit of uh, damage gap. And also, if you are curious, um, I don't know if AoE DR works against this uh, cemetery chain lighting. I don't, I never really tested it, but in theory, I think it might, but you never really know. The main reason why I think it might is because when you hit somebody with it and they have reflect on mercenary, for example, it still goes through the reflect, which leads me to think that it's being counted as AoE damage instead of single target. So things like AoE DR is probably really effective against this. It's also part of why I like to run AoE DR sometimes, especially against Lightning Sorks uh, on AP. Having that extra damage reduction, especially if they're running like Stormwatch, because Stormwatch is the only really deadly thing from uh, Lightning uh, for PT. So having that extra DR is just really nice. That means, um, you know, halted offense and power of the, or whatever. I can't remember the name of it on Republic. It's power or something. won't hit you basically as hard, which is really important. Mm. 
and to like kind of explain why it's important is uh, when you're writing Colto on power attack, it's a very scary thing. And if there's just a lot of small damage ticks, that's fine. But when it comes to like thundering blast and um, Colto defense, like at the same time, you kind of like get chunked too hard. And thundering blast is okay, one chunk, that's fine. But throwing another chunk, it becomes very brutal, very fast, and it'll most likely kill you through the uh, through the culto. So another situation where we just get CC'd out. Um, not a big deal, really, but I, I I would like to play. People, um, I I, I don't know how to put it. It's like you know, there's obviously people playing attachments, and there's people that are just could not care at all. And it's kind of just a situation of like, okay, you're quite literally playing objectives against nobody. Can you can you stop abusing me with it? Like the only reason you're getting away with this is because my team's just not really interested in fighting back. Like in any situation, my team decided to start fighting back in any like real capacity. This wouldn't be happening, and it's the only reason it is happening. If at least, you know, obviously the healer is playing, then it is Arsenal Mercenary, so it's a little bit more easy to kind of like deal with the situation. Here's a prime example of like, you know, using my AoE, or not my AoE, but my uh, Steel Tower Chain Lightning is still going through Reflect, doing full damage. Obviously, I didn't crit either one, which sucks, but you kind of get the ideal. Um, mercenaries are a pretty good target. Uh, the only downside really is that they have heavy armor, but, you know, they don't have like crazy amount of DR unless they have energy shield up, so you're able to hurt them quite, quite a lot. They become a decent sustained target if everybody's dying very, very, very fast, uh, which sometimes is the case, and which is also part of the point of why I'm even playing this build, because it does have some uh, general like burst to it, because you are hitting really hard with your... Uh, single target chain lightning and with reset you're hitting hard again with it personally i like it i think it's pretty fun i don't really like storm watch at all i wish storm watch just didn't exist so we can have something a little bit more unique i think storm watch is just so annoying and loud and then top of that extremely predictable and very easy to counter As for uh, matches like these, if you guys are ever curious like what you should actually be doing, um, you ever get into these situations where you're playing uh, Ancient Hyper Gate and you're doing this, what you shouldn't be doing is spam capping. What you should be doing is trying to fight back. So for example, that operative is a healer. There's not much you can do. So really all you can try to do is hope maybe get a, uh, a mess on one of the mercs and or just try to heal. What the assassin should be doing, however, which obviously the offer can't be the one that tries to cap. The assassin should be doing is trying to control CC, pull away, like do anything, fight back, don't just stand there and spam cap. Spam and cap is just not doing anything at all. Um, in order to usually take a node, you need to either have enough CC to CC all of them, or you need to have enough damage to kill them. And spamming a cap is neither. It's not CC and it's not a damage. So you're literally doing nothing. You're essentially griefing your whole team. But just spam capping. Well, sometimes, yeah, you can get a cap off, but somebody is constantly interrupting you. Maybe you should hit them back. It might be a good idea. It might speed things up and it might just win you the game. And unfortunately, since our team is split, um, I want to fight, so I'll be going over here. I won't be able to delay them, but I do want to fight, which immediately has this guy. I absolutely go crazy because I want to fight, which is kind of funny. I, I really don't get this pre-made at all. Killing one, one lightning Zork is not... I don't know. It's not that crazy. Anyway, um... One thing to think about too, when you're playing against Arsenal, you can outrange them pretty easily as a Lightning Sword. So when you're playing a Lightning Sword and you don't have like a melee on you, being able to do your rotation and kite them, you can easily outrange them over and over. 
which makes Arsenal have a terrible time against you. But when it comes to obviously like a melee that has like a root, it's like, okay, maybe I need to hit this guy. And which you saw me do. I 100% started hitting him to get him off me, which was very effective in doing so. But for the most part, when you are fighting a uh, Arsenal mercenary, such as Lightning, you can outrange them. You have more range than they do. And you also have roots, which allows you basically to ensure the range advantage and then also have a little bit more time to line of sight and if you're curious about what you should be interrupting on a arsenal mercenary uh, only interrupt um, blazing bolts if you need to remove the slow on yourself so you would interrupt it and then cleanse uh, which obviously you can only do if you're actually um, what do you call it? Is it tech? I think it's a tech slow if I remember correctly so that's kind of like operative but if you had like a different way to cleanse like breaker or um, which I don't recommend breaking or at barrier it would get rid of those if you really really needed to or just you know force speed which would be your primary way to do it but even if you don't have um, uh, what do you call it even if you don't have like um, a way to interrupt the blazing bolts you can just force speed out of the blazing bolts anyway so it's not like incredibly useful but it is something to think about when you're playing a different class interrupting it will basically get it to stop from reapplying so every time they hit you with blazing bolts, each tick will reapply a 70% slow for three seconds. So whenever you can interrupt it, it will kind of like make the slow come off a lot faster. Uh, but when it comes to priority of interrupting, you usually want to always interrupt either their heal or their chase the missile. The main reason you want to interrupt their heal is because it's the only heal they have that's actually meaningful. So if you interrupt that, they can't heal. And then when it comes to Tracer, Tracer is their main way that they build their auto crit and their sacks and reset their blazing bolts. So one way to think of it, like when you're fighting a mercenary or arsenal player in general, is that, okay, I can't interrupt the blazing bolts because it's got immunity for it. Interrupt the Tracer, or a Tracer missile, and then knock back the blazings. Then you've essentially interrupted two of their abilities to something they can do. You can also line of sight the cast too, which obviously helps. It really makes the mercenary player have a hard time, and it's not fun to play against. And in general, they are probably one of the more miserable things to play. The whole class, at least in my opinion, feels like a, a dire need of redesign. And there's also some things on Sork that I think needs completely re redesigned too. But if you are like in a situation where you have to do a uh, arsenal though, it's definitely something I would recommend. Let's say Blazing Bolts or uh, knock them or CC them. That way it cancels their cast and then interrupt Tracer. Sometimes you won't be able to interrupt and that's fine. And you're not always uh, you're not always needing to do it. Obviously, if you ever do it, then people will really start focusing on interrupting you back, which is also a thing to consider. If you're also interruptible, they will definitely start interrupting more. Like as you see, these guys basically never interrupt me an entire match, and it's simply probably because they they don't even know that they have it or what they should interrupt or. Uh, whether it will actually help them or they're not even really thinking about it because they have two different healers just turbo like healing them and then they also have healing defensives and they have like five buttons in their dps rotation so maybe adding in an extra button is probably not ideal for them uh so really try not <laughs> try not to provoke them uh in a way where Hey, every time I'm casting this, this person's interrupting me. And then they're like, oh, I forgot. I have an interrupt too, so I can do it back to them. Obviously, that's not like, the best ideal. Um, anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you guys again uh, here soon. We do have a couple other videos already lined up.